everybody and welcome to a new studio vlogging week. Um, if you are new here my name is Claire and I am the face behind the brand OK Doodle where I doodle my brain and I turn those doodles into gift shop treats over on my Etsy store. Um, so as you can probably tell things are getting a little bit Halloween-y in the office. Um, I'm feeling a bit batty. That was a bad joke. <laughs> Um, but I've decorated the little tree and um, finally got some more pom-poms because I did only buy one set of pom-poms and it looked pitiful with one set on so I have bought two more sets and now it's looking really cute um, and obviously I bought this um, bat head bopper thing <laughs> i need to go in the loft and get my halloween decorations out um because i have so much more um i don't know if i've mentioned but where i live it's like a big estate of like new builds um i say new builds we've been here <laughs> since 2014 um but um we go mad on halloween on this estate everyone makes such an effort um it's always brilliant looks it's always just feels like a big street party everyone gets involved it's really nice um so i have a lot of halloween decorations and i freaking love halloween um <laughs> i think it's going to be a little bit different this year though i don't think um there will be as much of a community like um party thing um so what my plan is is to still decorate my house and i think i will film some of it for you just so you can like see um how like nice we all decorate our houses and things it's really nice i love it um but what i'm gonna do for halloween here this is like totally not work related at all <laughs> but i'm gonna decorate my house and I'm going to get some buckets and some pumpkins and I'm going to stick like lollipops in them or like up and um, I've got like a walkway to my door so I'm going to stick them at the end like in a pumpkin patch kind of thing um, and hope that when kids come around that they just you know take one or two and not the whole lot. <laughs> um, that is my plan for Halloween here but yeah I'm getting excited. I actually watched Hocus Pocus yesterday because I'll be damned if that's not the best Halloween film that there is. Um, comment below your favourite Halloween inspired um, film um, because if I haven't seen it then I will. I also like The Craft um, because I remember when we were kids um, me and Jodie actually thought we were witches and we used to try and do the <laughs> light as a feather, stiff as a board thing from The Craft. <laughs> um, so I might watch that next actually. But yeah, I went to um, Poundland today and picked up a few halloween -y bits. I think I have some more of these as well. Um, I also got this one. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I don't think you can see it all. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one I prefer. Maybe the bat, actually. I really like the bat one. Um, and I've also got some cat ears. Um, somewhere as well that I will get out because I actually do wear those. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> um, and I think I also have more in my Halloween box, you know, so I'm gonna get that out this week. Um, but yeah, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday. Um, I was feeling a little bit, maybe let's say uninspired last week and I feel like the vlog was crap. Um, even though I said I wasn't going to vlog and then I ended up putting one up anyway um, because I felt bad and things and <laughs> yeah but I thought I would start the vlog because I was um, sorting out my Halloween tree and I've moved my little rainbow here I don't know whether I like it here yet um, but I'm also going to move this area around um, let me swing you around I'm going to move this area around a bit so it can be my background in videos. I think I'll probably keep the cricket here, but I think I'm gonna move all my pin board and my sticker boards over the other side of the room with like my art wall because there's loads of room up there. And then I think I'm gonna get some like curtain lights here um, for behind me when I film the videos. Cause right now I sit 
here which i like it's cute well as soon as i move you can see all the junk in ollie's side of the room um which is always messy um but yeah thought i would start the vlog today and show you these cute little halloween things that i bought i also started christmas shopping today which just feels mad um i will show you because it's right here actually i won't because ollie might watch this <laughs> um he's 14 and i don't like he knows all the christmas deal and everything but i'm not going to show the christmas presents but just let it be known i got some cute let me show you the top some cute little <laughs> christmas stocking fillers um, <laughs> for the boys too um so yeah i'm going to do a little bit of admin work today so i probably won't show you any of that because it's boring and there's not really anything to show and you know data protection all that a jam but i think i do have some orders to pack i might do them this afternoon so if i do order packing then i will take you along with me I'm gonna shut up now welcome to this week's vlog guys i'm gonna try and be spooky all month how great is that <laughs> Um, yeah, enjoy. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass, and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on the dance floor.
go I am not so sure you believe me But if I mean to show Look how cosy my office looks. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday here in the office. And I've made an effort with my hair today. Um, I haven't curled it for a while. Um, I was trying not to use so much heat on it because it was getting all damaged, but um, I did a hair mask and I used some protectant and decided to have it curly say so it really needs a re-dye. My battery's flashing at me. As always, Claire, you don't charge your battery. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't really got much to show you today because I'm working on my Patreon boxes for Halloween. Um, and I can't really show you them until my patrons have really got them. <laughs> um, I can show you sneak peeks and things, um, but October is a box month on Patreon and it's going to be cute, spooky, themed with sweets. Um, but that's all I'm giving away <laughs> because um, I have like 19, I think, people who get the box. So I don't want to um, spoil it, but yeah. Um, the last box I sent went down so well because they got all the Life is Tough collection and so many people um, got on board with that and I was really happy so I'm really hoping that they like this month's box as well. Um, but yeah, going to be Halloween inspired so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, I think I'm going to go over and see Jodie, I haven't seen her for a couple of days. Going to go and have a coffee, maybe I'll charge my battery while I do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I've been feeling a bit weird my hypnotherapy is going well and i feel better but um business um yesterday was a tough day um i really need to record a podcast for my patrons today because i forgot to do it yesterday because stuff happened yesterday and it just made me feel a bit crap um i'll try and condense this story because i don't want to look like i'm gossiping or giving any you know like slating everyone this isn't my fault and it's not the person who is involved's fault but basically um one of the things i use for my business is a font that i bought with a commercial license to use for my business um i paid for it i have the license i assumed that the person who sold me this font made that font because that's what it said turns out um the font is actually someone's handwriting and the person who sold me that font has ripped off someone else 
um, so there's like three parties involved in this the person who sold the font has ripped it off someone else so that person's involved and then they sold it to me and probably hundreds of other people and then we are involved in it too and it's a horrible situation to be in to be honest because I've been using it it's on a lot of my products it's on my thank you cards I was gonna find one but I can't um, and I just bought 500 thank you cards um, and it just feels like a really shitty situation to be in. I don't want to get upset. <laughs> um, as much as it's not my fault, and the lady whose um, handwriting this actually is, has been absolutely brilliant about it. Um, we've come to an agreement. I'm going to phase it out of my shop as I can. I'm going to use what I've got with my thank you card. She's really kindly said, you know, I don't want you to be out of money use what you've got and then maybe change the font going forward um so she has been absolutely lovely about it um i already followed her and i knew it was similar i assumed she used the same font i i probably was a little bit naive not double checking but when you're sold something with a commercial license why would you check you know i got it off a reputable site i assumed that it was fine uh, I don't I don't know basically that's what's happened so yesterday I had to write down everything that I need to change it's a lot of stuff it's going to take me so much time to change everything phase out this font and take new pictures make the products change all my designs and it's just a really shitty situation to be in I don't want to whinge too much because it's probably more shitty for the person who had their handwriting stolen um, they are seeking legal advice and I'm helping as much as I can I sent over all the files anything I had that can help with her situation and I think I'll be putting a complaint into the company and the artist or whatever who sold me the font um, I don't really care about the money I just want justice I think for the girl who handwriting has been stolen um, it's not very nice there's a very thin line between copyright and inspiration and to be honest um, it's just crap it feels crap so yeah that's what happened yesterday and um didn't really feel much of me and I didn't get my patrons out their podcast and so I've got to do that today and I need to charge Spatchy before it runs out so yeah that's why I decided to make an effort today because when I do my hair I put a bit of makeup on and like I did I clean the office and it just makes me feel better when I'm on a down like doing things like that just it helps me feel better I don't know why I don't know the logistics behind it but when I you know have a nice shower make, put some makeup on do my hair clean my office and get things in, like in order like that it kind of centers me it makes my anxiety chill and yeah and um, I'm gonna go now and charge this camera and go and see so I've just come out for a walk with this one say hi Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she just got leaved. I can't believe it. <laughs> she got leaved in the face. She's taking some photos for Jodie's Instagram. I'll link her below. <laughs> Trying to get some photos of me, but I hate every single photo that ever is taken of me. Like I've got my badges on. This one. And I'm wearing, you can't even see, can you? It won't focus. That one. So yeah, just out and about. Taking photos of leaves. <laughs> Leafy. Name that TV show. If you know what that is from. Ten points to Gryffindor. Hi everybody and welcome to a new podcast. It is the first podcast of the month so this is the one where basically I babble about the previous month and we decide on a topic for the next podcast of the month of October. 
Hi guys, um, I've got my bats on that you can't really see um, for some reason <laughs> and excuse my face, I have just been for my monthly facial and brows and I also have my lashes tinted too um, so I can't put anything on my face, any makeup um, because I've just had a lovely facial and also all the oil got in my hair so my hair is a mess. So excuse the state of me but just come into the office it's Wednesday and today I'm going to get on with making a load of stickers um, for my sticker drop on Friday um, that I'm going to do in my shop hopefully I say on Friday but I'm a bit behind because of what happened on Monday <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you making no show me <laughs> show you me making stickers wow that was a mouthful um, today so you'll get to see some sticker goodness and obviously the sneak peek of what is to come on my shop um this week so yes let's have some fun first of all i'm gonna eat my lunch um which i um will show you now. look at this i've just come to the office and i've brought with me my lunch which is a ham um on a cheese roll and some bacon rashes and i put them in these little <laughs> Like lunch bag for school. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, we seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Set up a stage of lies Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words repeat cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good but we keep lighting the words repeat cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves It's deja vu I just got some happy mail and it says free hugs I like this and it's from Poor Prince by Claire um, who I really like um, I'm trying to keep my address covered um, but this has literally just come and usually when I do happy mail I've already opened it because I'm impatient but this is just being opened now it says all you need is to believe in yourself, which is very, very true. Let's have a look. I like this bright yellow um, paper. It makes me feel happy. Mm, I love this. This is going to go up on my um, pegboard up there. I've got another little business card that says you are amazing. Um, this is the info. Um, I will link in the description as usual and then there's a note that says hey Claire thank you so much for your order and support I appreciate it so much I enclosed a few extras that I thought you should have I love all your work vlogs and energy you really are awesome lots of hugs Claire oh that's lovely that's going in my scrapbook oh I love this I'm actually not going to open it yet because um 
I'm gonna put it up on the art wall so I'm gonna keep it in its protected cover but look how gorgeous this is I love the yellow it just makes me feel so happy you are loved gorgeous hand lettering there this is a big bag let's see what's in it look at this I absolutely love these the colours are just absolutely gorgeous look at them three hugs you are loved oh, wow these are gorgeous oh I like that they're on these I always punch holes in mine um, this is a good idea Claire I might steal that I love these um, I do have a little summer I put all my badges so they will go with them and then I got stickers for my sticker board because you know how much I love a sticker board so I got this one that says I can make it happen because yeah I can and I am enough this is one um, this is an affirmation I say to myself all the time um, because it's one that I want to keep in my brain how gorgeous are all these things I love them thank you so much Claire you're the best right thank you also would you just look at this um this is patreon mail from the fizzy pumpkin obviously i'm part of her patreon and it's a night bus ticket oh my god i freaking love this this is gorgeous i'm a big harry potter fan it's like the biggest postcard ever. I absolutely love it. Hi guys, it's Thursday, I think. Um, I've been very, very busy this week, so um, I don't think I've sat down and talked much on the camera. Um, but I've been making stickers ready to restock, like have a sticker drop thing. Um, on Friday so I thought I would sit and show you these stickers that I have made so I've made two packs of stickers so it made the self love ones um, which look like this um, I'll I might put a picture up so you can actually see what's in the pack um, because I've already packaged them up and also an anxiety pack it looks like this again I'll put up a picture so you can see what is in them and what is in the pack stickers um my packs aren't as popular as my singular stickers like my big um what do you call them laptop slick stickers slap stickers i don't really know so there's a ton here of stickers that i've made for like singular stickers um most of them are three inches um on the longest side that's the kind of size i tend to stay around also, I apologise if you can hear kids, um, it's after school here, so I don't know why I didn't film this earlier, to be honest. <laughs> but they're playing outside. So the first one is actually out of one of the sets. So I picked my favourites from one of the sets um, to make as big stickers because basically I wanted them. So that's where we're at. So the first one is the um, Anxious and Awesome sticker. I really like this one. Um, the next one I have already put on my own laptop is the... Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. And um, I will point out, on all of these stickers, every single one, I've hand-lettered them all myself. Um, so I'm actually very proud that I put something out there with my own handwriting on. Um, it's not even um, a handwriting, I've turned into a font. I sat when I designed them and I hand them all. Um, the next one is Coffee Over People. I really like this one. Um, I showed it on maybe my Patreon and someone was like, you need to do a Tea Over People one, which I might do. And also I was thinking, I'd like a Cats Over People one because I love my cat. Next one is the You Are My Sunshine. I really like that one and then we have a cloud obviously oh, I love sunshines and clouds and rainbows and um, says keep going and these 
I don't know if you can see a like little little I don't know embellishments I don't know and then of course we have a rainbow which says um, daydreamer um, because a lot of the time that is what I am I spend a lot of time daydreaming rather than working um, this one I've also put on my own laptop um, anxious mess awesome human if you are a long time viewer follower um, this is quite a staple um, sentence or tagline or something that I say in my business a lot it's um, on my pegboard it's been on my pegboard um, for a very long time because these are actually a bit of a ball lake to change so I now can be bothered to change it so that's been on there since I was in my other bedroom office it's come with me in all my offices so far this is also one out of a pack but I really liked it says caution extremely anxious um, I might put this one on my iPad <laughs> so then people when I go out I take my iPad and then people will know not to approach me <laughs> um, this one says today is a good day to chase your dreams um, this was actually a doodle that I've drawn that I've not uploaded to my Instagram yet but I really liked it so I turned it into a sticker for the drop um, this is the sticker that started this whole um, I'm going to have a big sticker drop kind of thing um, because I decided that this needed to be a sticker and um, it's currently a badge but it's a popular one and I thought it'd be good as a sticker and then I think this last one may be my personal favourite it's also one out of the packs but because um, one of the very first ever products I launched was a badge and it said ooh people on it because I'm quite um, an introvert and um, I like I just I have like social anxiety so like I don't really like people which is really mad to say when I'm sat here um, talking to probably or anybody who can watch this um but yeah um i went with the ooh people sticker i love this i i think i want this to be a pin and i think i want it to look like this it looks kind of like a plaque <laughs> i don't know but i love this um and because it was one of the first products i ever sold and um if you have an ooh people badge um you have one of the very first products I ever made. I think it was the first product I ever made. Um, so yeah, I've made it. I've also got a t-shirt that says, ooh, people that I made myself on. So those are all the stickers that I'm dropping in my shop this Friday. Um, it would have been last Friday. Um, if you're watching this, the Sunday it goes live. If you're watching this in a year's time, check the link. <laughs> I'll see if it's still there. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you the stickers come on and say hey and yeah that's all I wanted guys and I'll see you in a bit so I am ending the vlog here and some people have mentioned that I don't put my whole head into the camera frame and I do that because I don't like my forehead so like this is kind of making me feel anxious I just like to be a little bit closer but I know that if you watch this on big tv then I am I am writing your TV and I'm sorry for that um, but I, you know I'm gonna put my own kind of anxious thoughts first here and just do what makes me feel comfortable um, but yeah ending the vlog I hope that you have enough footage to um, watch and yeah do check out my Etsy if you can and if you want any of the new stickers um, they should be live now they will be live now and um, yeah thank you so much if you have um, as always supported me in any way it's been very quiet the last couple of weeks um, on the shop i would gotten kind of used to how busy it was um, so August and September I had my best ever months on Etsy and this month is really really slowed down which is really hard for me because Christmas is coming I'm getting a bit anxious um but yeah thank you if you have supported me shared liked commented subscribed followed or purchased um it really does mean so so much to me 
so if you did like this video please give, a th give it a thumbs up it helps me grow it's free for you and do consider subscribing and i will see you next week for another studio vlog okay love you bye